Welcome to the channel and today I got some movie news for you guys. That's right, I got some movie news for you guys. And before I get into the video, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you have a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to get into the video. Gotta pull up my phone. Phone out. Okay. So this is being filmed on June 15th, which is off topic, but I feel like I should have said that. So the one of the um, movie news that I have for you guys, this is a rumored, um, it's not confirmed, but James Gunn will report, I can't talk today, James Gunn will reportedly help DC to rebuild their cinematic universe. Now, okay, you know, like, mm, I don't think this rumor is true, number one is not confirmed by Wonder Brothers, and I do want, I, I do feel like James Gunn will be the right person to build a new cinematic universe, but I do not feel like that's going to happen anytime soon. You know, we're probably not going to get a reboot of the Justice League for another at least four years. We're probably not going to get a cinematic universe like we had probably for another at least four to six years. That's my opinion. So this could be real. Who knows? Um, but I don't know. Now, the other one that I have are the villains for the Batman movie confirmed. Confirmed. I don't think they're confirmed, but let me get into it. Catwoman. Catwoman? Okay, I would like to see her in the Batman movie. I would like to see her in the Batman movie, of course. Why the hell not? Now, I did do a video. Make sure you go check that video out. Where I talked about and discussed villains that I want. I'm be making some more videos about it because I really want to... Do some stuff about this Batman movie, and that's one of the things I really want to do. The other villain is the Riddler. Now, the Riddler to me is a risky decision. Um, I don't want a Jim Carrey Riddler. Um, if you play video games or at least seen the trailers for the Arkham games, which are fantastic games, if you're not into video games, what are you doing with your life? But that's the type of Riddler I want. I want. Um, if you've seen the show Gotham, I like that type of Riddler mixed in with the Arkham type of Riddler. The next villain that may be in the Batman movie, which I'm a, which I'm really excited for, is Firefly. I really want to see Firefly, you feel me? But then this is one that I'm not <laughs> too excited for, the pink one. Now hold up, now hold up. I love the pink one. Penguin's an awesome Batman villain. He's part of my top five, top six. But if this is true, then you're going to have Catwoman and the Penguin in the same movie. Didn't we have something like that in the 90s? Pretty sure we did. So we didn't have that duo. I don't want to see them repeat that duo. And it feels like they're trying to repeat that duo. And to me... Some of these villains, the Catwoman kind of playing it safe, Red Alert kind of playing it safe, Penguin definitely playing it safe because he's getting more well known. And there's some more Batman villains that have been co confirmed. Two Face, give me Two Face. Already know the Two Face actor that I want. Two Face actor that I want is um John Hamm. You know John Hamm will be a great Two Face if he can't be Batman. Give him the role to face. Um, for me, Catwoman and Penguin in the same Batman movie. Either have Catwoman as a background villain or the Penguin as a background villain. Just because I don't want to see the Penguin and Catwoman doing a lot of stuff together. Because we done seen that. We done seen that, you feel me? We done seen that. We don't need to repeat the same thing again. You feel me on that one? But... Other movie news, let me try to see if there's anything on my phone. So I know there's some stuff that I want to discuss. Um, nothing more on my phone that I saved for you guys. Uh, oh, look at this awesome fan art. And I do agree with this. You know, if the you know if the Penguin is going to be in the Batman movie, which I'm not upset about. I just don't... I just I'm, I just don't want Warner Brothers to repeat what they did in the 90s with the Catwoman and the Penguin. Andy Serkis as the Penguin. I believe this could work, and this artwork looks sick. I love this artwork, my dudes. 
don't tell me that artwork looks good. That artwork is awesome. Andy Serkis needs to roll as the penguin and he needs to look like that. Like with the beard and everything. I love it. And too, like Andy Serkis is not that tall. So we will kind of like get that comic accurate um, penguin almost. So, you know. Um, but yeah. And well, other movie news. This is big news for Halloween and Scream. Now, before I get into this video, let me know in the comments below. Do you like this type of video where I'll wait a couple of days for more movie news to build up? And I just talk to you guys about it. You know, just chill and relax. Now, the movie news is Mayor Max is going to... Sh now, I do have something on my phone, actually, that I'm going to read for you guys. Um, because I just thought about it. Mayor Max is going to sell some of their films now... Shout out to Jed Robinson, by the way. He did a video on this. Um, my take on this is that's why we haven't had a Halloween announcement. That's why we haven't got even Scream updates is because of this bull. Okay? Now, but I do see this as something that's really good. I do see, I do see this as something that can be good. Now, listen. Here's a couple things that could happen. So let's talk about Halloween first. Universal could help out Blumhouse because Universal owns Blumhouse or their partners, something like that. Universal could step in, buy um, Merrimax, all of Merrimax, or at least Michael and just or Mer. Oh, can't talk to Universal can buy all of Merrimax or just buy Halloween and Scream. Universal can say, "Hey Blumhouse, you can make all the Halloween movies you want because look what we got for you." Or they can go, and Blumhouse, Jason Blum wants to scream movies. You see what I'm saying? We're getting a Black Christmas remake. Probably all the rights will be going to Blumhouse of Halloween. Cross my fingers, how, um, all the rights to Halloween will go to Blumhouse. And we probably will get a scream movie from Blumhouse. Why not? So I don't see this as a bad thing yet. If another studio... Um, tries to bid up. I'm, I'm, well, I can't talk to you. Blumhouse is not bidding on anything yet, but I'm saying Universal needs to jump on this. Universal needs to jump on this. Blumhouse needs to jump on this immediately. Why? Because especially Halloween is a hot commodity. Don't you think? Especially Disney. You know? Disney, MGM, all these studios are looking at Halloween now to buy, to buy their rights. And I don't think Universal, not not Universal, I don't think Blumhouse wants to do a one movie deal. What is a one movie deal? We'll get into that in a minute. I'll go through my, some of my screenshots because um, I do got some um, stuff I want to talk to you guys about that I found out. And, and, there, and there's some evidence to support this. Um... But the big thing is, yes, you know, um, Universal, Blumhouse, they need to jump on this. They need to buy, they need to buy all the Merrimax, because I don't think, I don't think Blumhouse wants to do a one movie deal again and just go through all that red tape again. It could take a year up to two years. I really don't think they want to do that with another studio involved. You see what I'm saying? I feel like Blumhouse and Universal are very smart, especially Blumhouse. Blumhouse is probably looking at this and going, you know, that like Blumhouse or probably Universal, maybe in talks right now to buy Scream and Halloween out or buy all of Merrimax. Wouldn't that be awesome though? Like Blumhouse just bought like all of the slashers, like even Chucky. I feel like that'd be so awesome. Like, you know, I want Blumhouse. To I want Blumhouse to have all the Halloween rights. I want. Blumhouse to own Scream. I want Blumhouse to own Texas Chainsaw. I want Blumhouse to own Nightmare on Elm Street. I really do. Now I found some stuff from Bloody Disgusting, and I do. I and I do agree with him. Um, it says, I think Tra Tr Tracens, Mayor Max, I don't know, um, Tracens International, which I'm probably butchering that first. Tracens International. Um, a cod, a cod, trace, a cod, 
A card owns 50% along with the title Halloween and characters on the original like Michael Myers. Then Merrimax, this is where we get into Merrimax. Then Merrimax owns the 50%. So Merrimax owns the other 50%. Now we can go on what is the other 50% because we know. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Trayson, T-R-A-N-C-A-S, Trayson International, um, still for Akkad, um, owns 50%. With the now, this is what he thinks, and I do think the same. He owns the title of Halloween and the characters from the original Halloween. Then Merrimax owns the other fifty percent. Probably the other fifty percent are characters like Jamie Lloyd, um, characters from Halloween Six, um, characters from Halloween Nine, and so and even characters from. Um, so yeah, and Universal slash Blumhouse did a sub license. A sub license, what I was talking about, sub license is a sub license is a deal with Tracer and Merrimax to do a Halloween. Um, I, I rephrase that because the way they've written it. Universal slash Blumhouse did a sub license deal with Tracer slash Merrimax to do last year's Halloween, but only had a deal deal and right to do one film. And yes, and he goes on to say something I did. It will make sense for Universal such Blumhouse to purchase Merrimax. If they can work directly with Tracer or more Halloween films. Otherwise, other studios like Warner Bros. buy it then. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, you know, I feel like Mer I, I feel like Blumhouse doesn't really want to do another sub deal. Especially Universal, because Universal is a little bigger. Universal and Blumhouse do not want to do another sub. I just don't feel like they want to. And this is probably their opportunity. This is probably their big opportunity to freaking get all the Halloween rights and make all kinds of Halloween movies. Because I feel like they're going to make a trilogy out of last year's Halloween. And then they're probably going to reboot everything, which I'm fine with. I'm fine and dandy with that. Because this makes sense. I don't feel like I don't feel like Blumhouse wants to do another sub deal with like Warner Brothers or Disney. I don't feel like that. Universal and Blumhouse wants to do their own thing and work with Tracens. So that's that. So Mayor Max, most of their properties are up for sale, including Halloween and Scream. I cross my fingers. Um I'm cross my fingers Universal buys out Mayor Max or at least the rights to Halloween and, and the rights to Screams. I really want, you know, Blumhouse, Blumhouse deserves the, all the rights to Halloween and they deserve the rights to Scream. Now, other movie news, other movie news, this was announced, I think, yesterday or two days ago, which I'm freaking, freaking, freaking hyped for. They make a separate video on this, you feel me? Black Christmas is getting remade. Now, why I'm so hyped for this is because I did see the black, the, the original, the, the original Black Christmas. It's all right. It's all right. And I'm going to lie, it's nothing special, but it's good. It, it, it is a classic to me, but it isn't, but, it, but it isn't nothing special, but it is something that can be called a classic. Now... I forgot what I was saying. What was it like? Um, oh, Black Christmas. Um, the, the 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 original Black Christmas was okay. The remake that came out in 2005 or six, it was decent. It could have been better. Blumhouse is Blumhouse is going to be remaking, rebooting, reimagining um, Black Christmas. I love the official poster they put out for this. This is going to be an awesome film. You know, prank calls is still a thing today. Um, you have social media, all this technology. This film could come out at a better time. And thank God Blumhouse is going to be rebooting it. As I do feel like, re you know, Blumhouse needs to have every horror IP, every horror character. And they need to make star, and they need to start making original characters as well. Because Blumhouse has been killing it. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, they have some ups and, some, and they have some ups and they have some of their downs. But let me tell you, they got they got some very good movies under the belt. Some some of their movies they that's under the belt, a lot of people don't know about. Like 
Um, Andy Reveal The Awakening, made by Blumhouse. Love that film. Back on to the topic. So, Black Christmas is getting remade, which I love. Number one. Number two, it was a surprise drop because it's going to be releasing Friday the 13th this December. I'm excited for this. You know, um, it's a Black Christmas remake. Um, why not? Because I'm not that familiar with Black Christmas, so yes, give me a remake of Black Christmas. Why not? Um, secondly, I love horror movies based around Christmas time, so why not? And to a not a lot of horror movies are released in December. So have, have this released in December on the 13th. It's a br this is a brilliant idea from Blumhouse. Number one, more slashers the better. And... This is just going to be a fun movie to go see in the theaters by yourself. Um, um, this is going to be a fun movie to go, you know, go to the theaters to see it by yourself with your friends, um, you know, with your girlfriend. You know, this is going to be one of those movies. You know, this going to be like a date movie. This going to be like a friend type movie. You know, I can't wait for Black Christmas. It's going to be hot. It's going to be pumped. I'm excited for it. But do let me know in the comments below, are you excited for Black Christmas? I know I am, like I said, I love horror movies based around Christmas time. Call me sadistic, I don't care. I love a little bit of slashing around the holiday seasons of Christmas. Why the hell not, you feel me? Um, I do want a sequel to Silent Night, Deadly Night, the remake. Just saying, just saying. Um, other movie news, other movie news, we're getting an eight ball movie. Yes, we, we are really getting an eight, I'm not joking, I'm not joking, we are really seriously getting an eight ball movie. We're getting an eight ball movie, which drives me nuts in the head, but yeah, we're getting an eight ball movie, which kind of drives me nuts, but I have faith in it because Blumhouse is behind it. Listen. Some of the stuff Blumhouse does is great. Some of the stuff they don't do is great, like Truth or Dare. I do like some of the stuff they did there, but it's, it's decent. It's there. The person that's going to be directing this 8-ball movie is the guy who directed Truth or Dare. Now, Truth or Dare, I didn't like Truth or Dare, but I did like some of the stuff they did do with Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare could have been better, um, but I feel like this director will step up his game and know what he did with Truth or Dare, and he's probably going to deliver with a scary film. And I, th and I do think that's awesome that Hasbro is partying up with this horror company um, to make um, a horror movie about this child's toy that, you know, an 8-ball. I had an 8-ball when I was a kid, and in fact, I think I got one a few years ago just for the fun of it, because... I collect things, <laughs> and I just wanted to have me an 8-ball, so I think I still have my 8-ball in storage, actually. If I do, I'm going to actually put it in the back of, I can't talk today, but if I do have my 8-ball, um, I will show y'all in the video. But, yeah, they're making a movie about an 8-ball. There's a lot of ideals that they could do with this. I'm like, I'm excited for this film, actually, because it's, it's unique, it's different. Um, Ouija boards... Get that out of here. We done seen that too, too, too many times. So my idea saying is original. And the eight ball is just as original as anything to me. So let me know in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Let me know in the comments below. What are you most excited for? And what do you believe the most? As I said, we know Black Christmas is happening. We know Merrimax is selling some of their properties or the whole studio. And the rumor... And I did the rumor Batman villains for you guys. And I did the James Gunn rumor that's kind of going around town a little bit. I'm going to be back with another video for you guys. And hope everyone has a great Saturday. Have a great day. Catch everyone this one. Peace. I am out. Let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this. Catch everyone in the next one.